so pure Pilates, working quite a lot of mobility as well, because obviously with everyone sitting at a desk, we need to make sure we also can move, so we're going to work strength, core, and mobil mobilizing, mobility, I've lost my words, <laughs> just follow me, it's early, all right, rolling those shoulders, start your watch if you need, sorry, good, arms out to the side, let's roll those shoulders, breathing out, warming up the rotator cuff muscles, that's it, hope you both had a good week, and looking forward to another weekend, rolling the shoulders, big circles, that's it, nice, all right, from here we're going to go into three roll downs, taking it nice and slow. I really want you to try and feel every segment stretch between your spinal, your vertebral bodies. So taking a nice breath in and breathing out, chin onto the chest, pulling in that belly button, arms relaxed, curling down one vertebra at a time, feeling that stretch in that spine, relax the head and down up from the bottom morning joining we've just started morning. nice to see you <laughs> won't you just mute yourself Anzi? okay okay yes. and breathing in and breathing out curling all the way down really feel that stretch between your spinal columns rolling down all the way and on a breath out Pulling that belly button in and curling up. Think of tucking that pelvis under. Re head relaxed, curling up through the spine. Nice. Head comes up last. Let's do one more. Breathing in and out. Chin on the chest, pulling that belly button in. Relax the arms, curling down one vertebra at a time. Reaching down all the way. And at the bottom, just hold it here and swing side to side like a rag doll. So you're just relaxing. That's it. Awesome. And coming down onto your knees. So we're still doing our mobility here. Put your left leg in front. Make sure your knee is over your ankle. And hands on the inside on the floor. So make sure that you've got that knee under the ankle. Back leg quite far back. And let's roll those hips side to side. So the Friday morning class is just a 30 minute. We're doing pure Pilates today with quite a lot of mobility. And Anzi's joining. She's a client from a long time ago. So it's lovely to see her today. Good. And from here, stretching back. You want to straighten that front knee. Make sure that the main focus is stretching that front knee. Bring your hands back if you need and coming forward lift your chest so you almost want to think of sliding and gliding these tissues going forward and back five times nice reaching back stretching make sure you straighten that knee and forward two more that's it move your hands back as much as you need to get that knee straight the focus is straightening that leg stretching the hamstring last one and forward awesome let's change sides knees together put your right leg in front make sure that that knee is over your ankle hands on the floor slide that back leg back and let's rotate those hips side to side so you just roll those hips sideways it's a small movement but it helps just to try and release the hips hip capsule the front glute and back hip flexor nice and from here let's stretch back straightening that front knee beautiful and forward and stretching back morning Renzo and forward lift your chest breathing out and forward nice we've got two more stretch digging that heel in and last one reaching back and forward lovely taking those knees back together we're going to go into all fours hands directly under your shoulders shoulders down and back 
And from here, we're just going to isolate those shoulder blades. So we're going to do our protraction, retraction. Just the shoulder blades, keeping the knees down on the floor for now. Pull your belly button in away from the floor, shoulders down and back. And you're going to breathe out, protract those shoulders, breathing in. That's it. And we just think it's a very small movement just to try and isolate those shoulder blades so that we can use that because a lot of people can't do that without moving their spine. So you want to be able to keep that back dead straight. Very nice. Now tuck those toes under at the back and on a breath out, we're going to lift and hover and hold for five. Let's go. Breathing out to lift for five. Four, three, two, one, and down. Breathing out to lift. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Nice. And breathing out. Shoulder blades down. Lift those knees five centimeters off the floor, pulling your tummy in. And down. It's a little movement. Back nice and straight. Breathing out to lift. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Let's go for one more. Shoulders down and back, breathing out. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Rolling out those wrists. That's it. Okay. We're going to now go into a full plank. We haven't done this one for a while, so I'll show you first. We're going to go into a full plank. Feet a little bit wide. Always putting shoulders down and back, back nice and flat. Never drop those hips too low. Now from here, we're going to reach forward with one hand and then coming into a downward dog to touch your opposite toe. If you find that too hard, just keep both hands on the floor and touch. We're going to go together. Try and keep your hips and shoulders facing the floor. So you want to try not to twist. You want to try not to do that. Okay, we're going to go for 10. Shoulders down and back. Tummy pulled in, let's go. We're gonna reach and touch. Come back to that plank, set, shoulders down and back. Reach, touch. Pull that belly button in away from the floor. Reach and stretch. Slide those shoulders away from the ears. Beautiful, that's it. Make sure you set that plank every time you come here. Tummy in reach touch we've got four more stretch slide those shoulders down that's it really try and reach for the toes if you struggle doing it single arm keep both hands down one more each side last one and we're going to come into a full downward dog. Both hands on the floor and stick that bottom into the air. Beautiful. Let's just hold this here. Really focus on pushing your chest between your shoulders. Sticking that bottom up to the ceiling. Beautiful. Now we're going to do heel rises. So you're going to lift those heels up and down. Stretching those calves. With this, make sure your whole body doesn't move forward. It's just from the bottom that lifts up and down. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, and coming down. Well done. All right, coming to sit on your bottom. Sorry, Andy, it's all a bit of a rush in the morning with your Wi-Fi and everything. All right, let's sitting on your bottom. We're going to go into our crab toe touch. So I'm going to give you two options here. You're going to have your hands behind you. Now, whenever you've got your hands behind you, never sink your neck into your shoulders. Always think of pushing that floor away so you've got a nice long chest. You're going to lift your bottom off the floor. Not too high, just off the floor. The exercise looks like this. You reach opposite hand to your toe and down. You want to keep everything here still. If that's too much, you just lift the leg and down. So we lift opposite hand to toe. Try and keep your body still. Tummy pulled in. Push the floor away. Let's go. If it's too difficult, just lift the leg. That's it. Keep your body dead still. Pull those abs in towards your tummy, towards your spine. Breathing out. 
that's it. So that connection of your stomach is like knaping. It's like trying to hold in a wee. It's really low pelvic floor and we hold it in the whole time. Let's go for three more. Two, tummy pulled in. One, relax those hips down. Just take a little break. We're gonna go back into that position and we're gonna try and stretch out our thoracic spine. So from here, we're now gonna lift the hips up all the way. Reach your opposite arm over and stretch. And then come down and put your bottom down on the floor. And then lift up, let's reach to the other side. And stretch. When you reach, you're reaching over your body, that's it. Beautiful, lift up those hips. Keep your knees facing that way when you stretch. Perfect, heels stay on the ground. This is a lovely stretch to start the day. Breathing out. Nice. We're going for five more. Breathe out as you lift. And down. Nice work. Tummy pulled in. Lifting up. Nice. We've got three more. Breathing out to lift. One more each side. Reach and stretch, squeeze that bottom. And all the way. Very nice. From here, keep your feet on the floor, let's lie back. We're gonna go into our pelvic curl series. So we're just gonna start with a basic pelvic curl. Feet, knee, um, our hip distance apart. Have your feet close enough that your hands can touch your heels when you're lying on the floor. And to start with, we're just going to do our basic pelvic curl to get that connection. On a breath out, you breathe out, pull that belly button, so scooping in those abs. Push through your heels and start curling up from that pubic bone all the way up towards the ceiling. You don't want to hyperextend your back, you want to keep that posterior tilt. And then breathing out as you curl down, one vertebra at a time, all the way down. The coccyx is the very last thing that touches the floor. Good, breathing out to lift. Scooping in those abs, pulling that tummy in, push through the heels, feel your bottom. Make sure that you've got that pelvic tilt. So your pubic bone is higher than your hip bones when you're at the top and curling down. Good, let's go for six more, breathing out, push through those heels, pulling that tummy in. Tucking under, squeeze that bottom. And curling down from the ribs, one vertebra at a time. It's nice to sometimes do this very slowly, just to reconnect and figure out how to pull everything in. Doesn't matter how advanced we are, this exercise done right can really work. Curling down, we've got four more. Breathing out, then we're gonna hold it up there. Tummy pulled in and curling down. Don't let those abs go. Keep that connection all the time. Three. I want to hear your breath out. And curling down. I know I've got you muted, but you know what I mean. Two more. Tilting up with that pubic bone first. Imagine a string tied from your coccyx. And that's leading the movement. Up and the last thing to come down. Nice, and we're going to hold it up there on this last one. Tilting that tailbone, pulling in those abs, lift the heels up and down. Keep those hips lifted, and we're just lifting the heels up and down for 10. <clears throat> Make sure you're still pulling in those abs, squeezing that bottom for four more. Three, two, one, and now curling down all the way. Very nice. Drop your heels to the floor, lift up the right leg to the ceiling. We're gonna do single leg bridges. So we're gonna lift up and down with just that left foot on the floor. You can have this knee slightly bent if you want. Let's go, breathing out, lifting up for 10. One, squeeze through that heel and down. Still pull that belly button in. Three. Four, five, we're squeezing through that hip. Six, 
This leg that's in the air stays still for now. Eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Hold it up there. Now we take this leg down and up. We keep the left hip lifted. <sighs> Breathing out as we lift the leg for five, <sighs> four. Push through this leg. <sighs> Three. Try and keep your hips level. Two, <sighs> one. Place the foot down, curling down. Nice, hug those knees into your chest just to release your back. And then we're gonna do the other side. Well done, right. Feet on the floor, left leg up to the ceiling. You're gonna push through that right heel, pull the belly button in and let's go. Lifting up and down for 10. <sighs> Tummy pulled in. Three, four, Five, nice, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now reconnect, hold it there. This leg goes down and up. You want to keep your hips dead still. Push through that right heel. Engage your glutes, pull the tummy in. For three, two, one, and dropping it down, hug those knees into your chest. Very nice. Rolling up and just sitting, right. We're gonna go for our two minute plank. Don't be afraid. We're gonna do 30 seconds on the front, rotate to 30 seconds on the side, back to the front, back to the other side. So I'm just gonna set you up and show you how it's gonna go. To set up a plank, you clasp your hands, Elbows on the floor. You want to get your nose in front of your hands. We're going to step back into a plank. When you go to the side, roll your feet to the side. And then you come back to the front, roll the feet back front. And then the other side, you roll the feet and twist. So, brace yourself. We're doing two minutes. If you're getting tired, if your back gets sore, drop your knees to the floor and go into a half plank. Okay, so let's set it up. Shoulders down and back. Clasp your hands, nose in front of your hands. Stepping those feet back, let's go. So in this position, slide those shoulders away from the ears. Tummy pulled in, we're staying on the front first. The front for 30 seconds, we're holding it here. At 30, we're gonna to turn to the side. Tummy pulled in, nose in front of the hands, Back nice and flat. Drop those hips down a little bit. We're turning in three, two, one. Rotate to the side. Now we're holding it here for 30 seconds. If you struggle and you need to go onto your knees, go onto your knees, that's perfect. Knees together, keep those hips lifted. That's 15 seconds. We're gonna go into the front in 15 seconds. Lift those hips. Push the elbow into the floor. Nice, we're rotating in five, three, two, one. Coming back onto the front, both elbows, nose in front of your hands. Tummy pulled in, shoulders down and back. Nice guys, beautiful. Think of keeping that back nice and straight, tilting that tailbone, shoulders down. Let's go. We've got five, three, two, one. Rotate to the other side. Squeeze those inner thighs. Squeeze your bum. Lift the hips. <sighs> Breathing out. Push that elbow into the floor. Try and have a nice long neck still. 15 seconds to go. <sighs> Breathing out. Nice. For five, three, two, one. Well done. Shoo, that's a bit of a rough way to start your first class, Andy. Well done. <laughs> okay, lying on your back, we're gonna go into some abs. Legs up to the ceiling. Now in this position, always think of pulling that tailbone towards your nose. So you've got your low back glued to the floor. Tummy pulled in. Hands by your side or under your head, but your head is staying on the floor. 
we're going to slide your one foot down the other foot to here so you bend the one foot to the knee and then slide them up and then alternating sides so you slide in the one leg down drag that toe along your leg to the knee now the most important thing is you must keep those abs connected and that tailbone to your nose if your low back leaves the floor then don't go down so low keep it here we're going for 10 so as you straighten that leg really resist the urge to arch your back connect beautiful and up we've got five more breathing in breathing out nice tummy pulled in three more that's beautiful two last one feet on the ground have a little relax while I show you the next exercise from here we're gonna go into an oblique twist but we're gonna stay just twisting to the one side so we're gonna twist just to this leg I'm twisting to my right leg first we're going to twist for 10. When you do this, your chin is on your chest. You hold your head and shoulders up, connecting those abs, twisting for 10. Then we stay twisted. This leg goes up and down for 10. Okay, then we change sides. So setting it up, legs up and tabletop. Tilt that tailbone to your nose, tummy pulled in. Breathing out, chin on your chest, using your abs. Have your elbows near your periphery stretch the left leg out and let's go twist for ten. One. you want to think of shoulder to knee don't take your head and shoulders back down in between we're just rotating just to the one leg just to the one leg we're just going to the one side that's it for three more two one now hold that twist this leg goes up and down for ten keep that twist that's it stretch five keep rotating four three two woof, one nice work you stay there i'm turning around so i can watch you all we're going to do the other side so we just rotating to that one side ten and then the leg goes up and down for ten so breathing out Let's stretch the other leg. Make sure you go into the other knee. Let's go. One. Tummy pulled in. Really make sure that that low back is glued to the floor. Stay there. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Hold that twist. Leg goes up and down for ten. Keep rotating using those obliques. If you feel your back, bend that knee and don't go down so low. Nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, well done. Stretching out those abs. Stretch your legs out, stretch your arms out. Right, we're going to finish off with three roll ups. A roll up is quite a basic staple of Pilates. Have your legs together squeeze those legs together tilt that tummy in you're going to breathe in bring your arms and your head up breathe out as you're rolling up through that spine if you struggle with this you can bend your knees that's it and now you reach forward when you reach you don't want to collapse you want to think of going up and over then sit up nice and tall shoulders down and back and curl down start that curl down at the pelvis you want to tilt that tailbone one vertebra at a time. Beautiful. Two more. Breathing in. Arms and head up. Breathing out. If you need to bend your knees when you come up, then that's perfect. Well done. Reach. Sitting up nice and tall. Slide those shoulders down and curl down from that pelvis. Look at your belly button. Tucking under all the way. Nice. We've got one more. Breathing in, arms and head up. Breathing out as you're curling up. And stretch forward to those toes. Sitting up nice and tall, slide those shoulders down and curling down, tucking under, 
look at that belly button control it that's beautiful let's go for one more i know i said three but i feel like doing another one breathing in arms and head up breathing out curling up now we're going to do this one all together i want us to roll down together because we're going to pause so sitting up nice and tall shoulders down and back now we're going to start the curl down pull that belly button in start rolling down and hold it breathing in and breathing out curl down one more vertebra and hold it snake and curling down one more holding it there and all the way down beautiful well done let's do one last ab exercise legs up in tabletop so tabletops when your legs are off the ground 90 degrees tilting that tailbone towards your nose so if you watch me here my knees are here if i tuck my pelvis my knees come forward just a little bit so my low back is now glued to the floor and we're going to do our leg swaps so from here you hinge at the hip and you're only moving that hip your knee angle stays the same you take that hip away from you breathing out try not to bend your knee more try and move from the hip that's it you want to take that hip away from you your knee stays 90 degrees breathing in keep that low back glued to the floor take that hip away a little bit more less knee movement more hip movement that's it beautiful let's go for five four keep that low back glued to the floor tummy pulled in three good two one and hugging those knees into the chest well done all right let's stretch it out a little bit from here we're going to go into our happy baby so legs feet up towards the ceiling you want your shins kind of 90 degrees to the floor grab the inside of your feet so i'll show you from this angle you grab the inside of your feet your knees are nice and wide and you gently push your knees down towards the floor make sure you're not too vigorous with it gently that's it you can rock side to side a little bit breathing out nice now stretch your left leg out keep that right leg in happy baby and stretch that left leg along the floor if it hangs off the floor a bit don't worry you can just bend your knee but gravity will help stretch that lovely now bend that right knee into your chest and take your left hand and pull it across you let's stretch out that back so right knee in stretching it across you want to try and get it down towards the floor keeping that right shoulder down and breathing out use that breath lovely coming back into the middle knees into your chest let's go back into that happy baby gently put the pressure on those feet and now we're going to stretch out our right leg slide it along the floor doesn't matter if it hangs in the air you want to just try and get that beautiful stretch on the hip flexor and it increases the stretch in this butt nice bringing that left knee down into your chest and take it across with your right hand crossing over to the right so nice stretching out you want to try and get that knee on the floor and keep that shoulder down turn your palm up towards the ceiling very good breathing in and out bringing those knees back into your chest rock side to side and curling up well done guys what a great start to the day so lovely to see you Anzi, stay there for one second i'm just going to chat have a lovely weekend